There is a fifth dimension beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the twilight zone. Anyone would think you're glued to that screen. It's not good for you, all that television. Why don't you go out and play with your friends? What would be good is if we got Sky. That way I'd be able to watch Discovery Channel. We can't afford Sky. It's too expensive. Anyway, you don't need it. Yeah, I do. We only have 30 channels. 30 channels? When I was younger, we only had three. Meet Jack Weller, a 16-year-old shut-in. He's done nothing with his life except watch television and complain to his mother. Jack's never done anything that wasn't for his personal gain. A very important package is about to arrive on Jack's doorstep. Who is it from? The Twilight Zone. Someone just rang their doorbell and left this box here for me. It's a TV box. Oh. Are you sure it's safe? And why could it not be safe? I don't know. It could be dangerous. Mum, if it was dangerous, you'd be dead in a few minutes. Don't worry. Well, I don't think plugging in mysterious electricals that have just been left on the doorstep is a wise idea. Mum, can you just shut up whilst I do this? Oh my god! It's, it's got everything! Everything you get with Sky! I hope this isn't going to cost us any money. I'm just going to get some pictures out of the loft. Enjoy your TV box! Mum, you're on, you're on TV. And, and there's something wrong. I, I can't move.
Can you hear me, son? And uh, how long has he been like this for? For about two hours. That TV box came in the post and he went like this. I didn't know who else to call. Jack! Are you there? What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs>